Hey tubers, welcome back for another adventure. Boy, when the deal's right, these things just keep coming home. So here we have it, a Polaris Trail Boss 350, liquid cooled, two stroke, and um, torque converter four by four. So all of that. I got a phone call, a friend, of a friend was uh, going to scrap this thing out. As a matter of fact, it was uh, literally on the truck on its way to uh, the recycling yard. It was going to be weighed in and uh, sent over the side. A big nine cents a pound for this, uh, this wonder. I think it weighs about 500 pounds. Guy would have got somewhere around 45 bucks for it. Anyway, it was offered up to me for a couple of hundred. So I knew that it wasn't running. Obviously, if it was running, it'd be worth more than 200. But I figured I would jump on it for that price. And I really didn't ask too many questions because you get most of a quad for a couple hundred bucks. It's worth that money. So you're kind of seeing it the way I saw it when I drove up. They obviously, you know, put this this cow catcher hood on it. Plastic really looks like it's in pretty pretty decent shape. Um, really decent shape. Back rack looks good. No tail light. There's the muffler. So um, there she is. And you're always told the story. Somebody's brother-in-law gave it to him because it needed a little bit of love and attention. And I think they started on the love and attention here. They, uh, I'm told they pulled the top end of it off. And it does in fact look like they pulled the top end of it off. I mean, they're a little pieces. There's the uh, cylinder head. Obviously I got the carburetor. Um, I gotta tell you, in my mind, I really... Oh, obviously the exhaust pipe. Heat shield. I got parts of the recoil. There's the reeds. Get wet, obviously. The cover for the recoil. I guess on these, the springs on the inside. Anyway, when I first saw it and I saw the 4x4, I was kind of excited. I'm like, oh, this is cool. I could pull the motor off, maybe put something on it. After getting it home, I became a little less excited for that. And the reason being, this is a chain drive. So you go from here to there, and then you go again to the front axle. And hopefully there's enough light for you guys to see this. Right. You can see that the front axle, where it's supposed to be driven by the chain here, is, uh, is completely buffed off. It's like a, uh, my buddy called it like a brake drum. So, and this gear appear, appears to be part of this U-joint assembly. I guess one, if they wanted to be creative, could take it all apart and uh, grind the gear down and put a different gear welded up. That sprocket still seems good, and the inner sprocket still feels good. So, I'm not going to lock my thoughts down on this, but to go through the trouble of swapping engines and getting all kinds of creative here for a uh, very heavy two-wheel drive. I think this machine comes in at all of 500 pounds. That's what I read. Once again, I read that they made it from 90 through 
um, 94. It's cool that it, it does have a headlight, so it appears. It has a radiator, fan, all the cooling stuff. I got 14 miles of wiring, and it even came with a key that doesn't necessarily work, but it did seem to come with a key. That's always nice. Going through the other trivia. Well, feels like it has some brakes there. Throttle still moves. Right, got the dashboard, choke, gas tank. Very empty, doesn't even smell like gas. So it's been empty for a while. I thought I had the surround, um, the gas tank surround, but I do not see it. I always like checking out the trunk. See if we have furry critters in here. What? Oh, we got we got some parts. It looks like chain, part of a chain. Yeah, there's a few pieces in there. I think you guys could see it. Mostly, it looks like drive chain. So. Still seems to shift. Yeah, I don't know what kind of shape this tranny's in. I think I just put it in neutral. Wait, did you go? No, you're not in neutral. Now you're in neutral. Oh, that drives that. How you push. Still roll like a uh, like a brick. The uh, I haven't put any air in the tires since I've owned it, so you can make whatever assessment of the tires that you want. So I took a quick look around the hoard, and it appears as if quite a few Polaris machines have shown up over the last few years. I guess there's a pair of Exploder 250s. There's a Predator 200. There's um, a four-stroke sitting over here somewhere, whatever that one is. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, recycle those wheels and tires onto something and some of the other parts. I wish the cap was on there. You hate losing those pieces. Anyway, so for the money, for a couple hundred bucks, I'm sure I'll get parts out of it. Even just looking, you know, at the plastic, the frame, the seat, the racks, front bumper, you know, headlight, surround piece and all that. It's... I got quite a few parts, quite a few nuts and bolts. I think I did very well for a couple of hundred dollars. I'm sure you guys will share your thoughts. And I'm sure the people that are after free parts will contact me and wonder why I'm a bad person for not spending all my money mailing them free parts. Okay, I want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Please remember, feet down, heads up. And get out there and enjoy each and every day. Don't let any time get by you. You don't know how much you're going to get. So have some fun while you can. Bye now.